Uh, apparently, Rav has a new video. Uh, he might even have two videos. I've been gone. Four days ago? Yeah, I haven't seen this one either. Attention gamers. Previously on my journey to get a break from a game where I have to rely on teammates, I learned about group content in WoW and had to rely on teammates. I rocked the biggest damage wiener on the charts with some guildies while others were challenging me in duels to the death which may or may not have just been fancy editing over a normal It was fit, I could tell. Nonetheless. Papa Soda blessed me with the Sword of a Thousand Truths bow edition and I used it to become Rav the Avatar, conquering all four of the deadliest hardcore elements by myself with no help, to prove that I am him and he shall one day save the world of Warcraft. Apparently right. word hadn't yet spread that I defeated the demon of Duskwood as players were still looking like they were about to shit themselves on the road and despite me trying to calm their nerves I knew the best way to show them that Rav the Avatar could conquer all would be to smurf on the remaining elite quests in the area. He's permanently wearing more Stitch's Latin femur as offhand. grave digging boner boy that has more people creating fresh level ones in Elwyn than any time Asmongold starts a new character but he clearly didn't know who he was up against so I let Howard introduce himself and then I promptly one shot the shitter. Okay. <laughs> wow, so then powerful. Some undead David Blaine was apparently spooking couples in the bedroom of this house, so I went up only to find out he was currently taking a meeting, so I figured I would let these scrubs build up their confidence by taking him down themselves before deciding that I deserve a little credit for at least being there. But this <laughs> is where I realized that the lore behind some of these quests is beyond fucked up. Place his own heart within the bosom of his dead spouse. So just to summarize this random quest, a psychopath somehow what? removed his own heart and shoved it up the asshole of his dead wife and now for some ungodly reason the people in town want it. I found the grave as Howard was like bro it smells like ass here and I was like well according to the disturbing quest details means we are in the right place so I tickled the dirt hit a bit of parkour and then- Wow Laura's actually so cry. fucked up. The thought of digging through her dead colon to get her husband's heart was- Like have you ever seen the- the knoll? What is it? Tense? If you zoom in on it it's like- You guys have probably seen the reddit posts. It's like human faces stretched out, used to wove their tents, and they're like, shit. And then, of course, you're like, I need you to go collect this head of this guy. You're like, okay, you cut their head off, stash it in your, like, you know, deep pocket, and go kill, like, collect a bunch of, like, eyeballs. But it's all cartoony, so you don't put it Being together, but... I sure wasn't going to do it, but I knew the townsmen would sleep better at night knowing I had. What You've done it! Just to confirm this praise wasn't because I slayed the jizz stained final boss stitches plaguing their town. You have done a great thing for our people, adventurer. It was because I dug a dude's heart out of his dead wife's anus. Your name will remain in our annals forever. Anyways, I ran into a little gnome whose name could describe my entire WoW documentary, but then I managed to get triggered by my first escort quest in the game. Please help! You see, this douche was clearly oh, this having guy. a case of the Mondays. I figured the dude would be eternally grateful that I you know saved his ass from being eaten by a tribe of mutated apes and literal alligators only for him to act like fucking Prince Harry being escorted into his daddy's coronation. I had some choice words for him but the dude wanted no part in the mission to save his own life apparently and while being toxic <laughs> towards an NPC may have not been my proudest moment I felt he needed a taste of his own medicine. It was at this point where whoever wrote my leveling guide must have decided to phone it in one day since it was just like a hey, yo fuck it I don't know go kill some shit for an hour and while the fastest levelers would have accepted this, thrown some hentai on the second monitor and then grinded it out with a half chub for the next hour, I chose a different route. You like, see there's a chapel in the big 40 city to 50 where a priest is has been entirely too happy to see me since I was a little boy but in the basement there's a dude dressed like a hibachi chef who is all like bro your guide wants you to waste 45 minutes of your life killing beasts. Nah, I'll save you from that boredom, just follow these steps. First take a flight out of town down to that bay named after a literal ass. There I've arranged for you to take a transatlantic cruise. Don't make eye contact with the others on that boat as it's known to have some weirdos. Once you're there you will take another flight on the Kalimdor Airlines but this is classic WoW so there's no direct flights to where you're going so you'll connect through a town that's not exactly on the way. There you'll meet my gay lover Anton and he will tell you about our old book club called the Scarlet Crusade and how we left because of their obsession with bowling. He'll have you spend another 10 minutes walking through quite possibly the ugliest zone in all of Azeroth until you arrive for your designated skeletal slaughter. 
He'll be like there's one small catch I need you to kill 30 of these in a zone where only 6 spawn at a time so I hope oh you my remember God, to quest. twiddle your thumbs for a bit but once you do serve Did he just click Hunter's Mark? Did I see that right? Miles back up to me and enjoy the scenery that can best be described as if a microscope zoomed way into an infected sperm cell from a man ridden with AIDS. Make him happy and he'll be like dope now take another no direct flight back to that ratchet ass bay just in time to miss the next boat. When you arrive back to the boardwalk you'll just have one more super short flight to your last stop. Stiff, jet lagged and having already wasted more than the hour you would have spent killing beasts you'll get debriefed by a dude who is working on his cement driveway cosplay transmog set. He will tell you that the next part of this gigantic waste of time is to find a group of people and that you'll probably need to spam the entire server looking for others. This is the right way to, to do it. Warrior who says he can't this is the way. To just not tell him that he's the tank while thinking to yourself. Spam and wait for someone to say happen. yes. Then you and your new group of butt buddies will need to I'm spend another I'm glad he figured that out. Minutes walking through a dangerous zone, sneaking around the back of horde capital cities and parkouring in ways that not everyone can keep up with. And after close to two hours, you will arrive at the most corrupt book club in all of the Eastern Kingdoms. It was that Patty? Eastern King of Horde capital cities and parkouring in ways that oh, not shit. everyone can keep up with. <laughs> and after close to two hours, you will arrive at the most corrupt book club in all of the Eastern Kingdoms. <laughs> now I quickly learned that this is actually four dungeons baked into one. The first featured torturers with suffering victims who level 44 rogue in their group. The avatar to be their hero. My name is Lil Gay Rogue. 45 actually. The Hunger Games game master was informing us to GTFO so after we finished the first of four we decided to wait until 11 to start the second. Except everyone else decided to go in at 10.59 because reading clocks is apparently rocket science now and this resulted in my getting stuck in a different lock out of the instance than all of them. Anyways the butt buddies who left the book club said there were a few drama queens who needed killed and the first was the pet lover in the group. He looked intimidating but they told me the weird things he does with those hounds and a jar of peanut butter at night so I wasn't concerned. Then there was Arcanist douche canoe who was a tank and spank outside of when he cast detonate and you need to get out ASAP and it turns out having RP walk toggled on isn't ideal so I may or may not have fucked around and found out. <laughs> Now small detour from this gripping book club drama storyline I should mention that I met a certified baddie in the Forge of Iron who said that rumor is this particular library has a copy of the Kama Sutra and I quote Bring it to me and perhaps together we can unlock the secret So obviously there was some incentive for me to find it while I was there Yeah baby <laughs> The third dungeon was basically 47 hallways of scarlet simps that all look the exact same and after 30 minutes of it you face Herod who has two phases the first is a tank and spank and the second is after he dies all the fraternity pledges it's a good helm. rushing and showing how useless they are and then we best piece the of gear you can drop deadly of the four dungeons the cathedral. need it oh coward. this is where howard started to feel the repercussions of me telling a warrior he didn't have to tank while actually relying on him to tank and our group's rogue was about to learn a very real lesson to not joke about howard's life You see we made it to the final church where all these devote simps were saying their prayers to the big dog in charge, all ready to run at anyone who challenges his authority, of deciding what the next book everyone will be reading is. And while this coup against the crusade had been as smooth as a Riz Masters pickup lineup until this point, things were about to take a messy turn. <gasps> oh! They must be oh! Purified. Run! Tickling oh god! The captain's toes triggered the fire alarms and over 30 oh, were fuck. now on their way. F frost trap, bro. I looked back. Oh no, Rav didn't frost trap. Time I ever saw they have no mage. Alive. It's a hunter's. Pr it's the hunter's job to frost trap here, and he's dead. The crusade demanded more casualties, and my tank, who didn't think he was my tank, was in line to be next. I prepped a last ditch target dummy, knowing it wouldn't do shit. But I wasn't the only only fangs member thinking on their feet, and Patty managed to spare his life. We paid our respects to our fallen comrade and vouched to avenge his death. I don't even know. Frost Trap may have not saved him. Probably not, but the only issue Frost Trap is we now had no actually healer, probably would have saved him. Tank, and two people who didn't know this fight. You can't trap in combat? That's why you feign death.
But fuck it. They're not in the guild. Let them die. Not my problem. Sure. Arise, my champion. Fat grenade. Holy fuck. Very nice. Any loot? No loot? What the I fuck? I went back to Cement Covered Sammy to tell him that that drama-filled book club is no more. So in summary, instead of grinding mobs for 45 minutes, I spent 7 hours traveling the world, engaging in petty high school drama, and getting another player killed, all to accomplish the same amount of progress on my journey to 60 and that my friends, is what it's like to play World of Warcraft. It's not wrong, this game is terrible.